Praise God. My name is Rachel Mumo. I am a counselor. And this is episode one of The Wise Woman. And in this episode, we'll be talking on how to fight infidelity. Uh, infidelity has been the leading cause of divorce in many marriages. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, that we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against our, our principalities, rulers, powers, and wickedness in highest places. So we understand, as a wise woman, we understand that the battle is not carnal, the battle is not physical. So if you have a husband that is uh, showing signs of infidelity, or a husband that is going out there that is cheating, first thing to understand is that your husband is not a bad person, that your husband was not created a bad person. What you're supposed to fight is the spirit behind what is causing his behavior. There's the behavior of going out and, and sleeping around. There is a force that is forcing him to do those things. Because no normal person with a beautiful family will go out there sleeping, drinking out in the night and coming in the morning. No normal person will do that. And so when we understand that we are not fighting physically, it is the spirit behind the behavior that we should rebuke. So first thing that you should do is seek God's guidance and God's clarity against the, uh, about that issue. And then you can stand in the cup as the woman that you are, as the helper that you are, because we have been given power by Christ. We have power and authority to trample over scorpions and snake. That means you have power and authority to come against anything that may, have, uh, that may come in your marriage. Any spirit that may be trying to attack your marriage, especially your man, you have the power to come against it. So you rise above, you stand in the gap as the woman and rebuke. <clears throat> Sorry. You stand in the gap as the woman and rebuke that spirit. And you can only do that in prayer. So it is very important for you as a woman to live a life of prayer, a life of the word, because the word of God says that the word of God is the lamp to your feet that illuminates your path. So you cannot really know where you are going. You cannot really know what you are going to do, especially in such kind of a situation. The only wisdom that you need is the wisdom that comes from God. The only strength you need is the strength that you will draw from God. So you will stand in the cup and rebuke the spirit behind the behavior of your person. And when you do that, you'll be fighting from the winning side because it is not your words it is not your beauty it is not anything that you can do that can change that person only god can only god can call him out of that bondage of maybe a spirit of lust uh, going and stripping around only god can call him from that bondage and you can be used by god through you, you can save your marriage. Um, I always say, like, look at that person. Look at your husband as a sick person. You cannot rebuke a sick person. You cannot beat a sick person. You cannot quarrel or yell to a sick person. What you do is try to find a way to cure. And in this, in this case, in this context, how you can cure is to pray for him, for God to deliver him. Because you are the one who understands this uh, situation you are the one who sees that he's doing bad because if he's going out there he might not realize that he's harming you or the marriage the one who is woke the one whose eyes are opened are yours so because god has shown you what is happening you are the one now with the mantle with the mandate to stand in the gap and rebuke this spirit and god is going to restore that marriage god is going to change that man for the betterment of you uh, as a wife and the family at large. So if you're going through that, don't rest physically. Don't throw words. It's not going to help. Fight on your knees. That is what a wise woman of God will do in that kind of a situation. So stay tuned in this series. We'll be talking more about many challenges that women are facing in their marriages. This is just the beginning. So subscribe to this channel, share this video and like and put on the notification bell so that you can be always uh, notified every time I upload a new video. Shalom.